Hey, I'm at Universal Studios Hollywood at Halloween Horror Nights 2024. Now, tonight is Friday. So I expect it to be crowded and I only have a regular ticket. I did pay for early entrance, which used to be free, but I guess now we're gonna find out A, if early entrance is worth it, B, how far you could go on a busy night with a regular ticket, and C, what rides are open. So come on with me, let's have a good time. Now, there's a huge lineup outside to enter, even for early entry. I'm inside right now because I do have a universal pass, so I came in through the regular entrance, but I was told that when you come in as a regular person, you can go to a booth and uh, show your ticket for early entry and Halloween Horror Nights so you can get a bracelet. So let's do that. Okay, so you don't have to go back outside. You just have to come over here and make sure you get your wristband, okay? Well, this is pretty good. I got my early access ticket, so I'm going to go down to the lower lot and see if they can let me wait in line right away because I am inside because of my season pass. And uh, hopefully that works. Just to remind you, early access used to be free. So if you watch my old videos, I tell you to come early so you can take advantage of early access. That's because they granted it to whoever had a ticket and came early. Now you have to pay like $10, $15 for it, which I don't think is fair, but it's, it's their thing to do. And here's a quick look at the construction of the new Fast and Furious roller coaster that's going to be open in 2025. Really excited for it. Okay, well, things are looking up for me. The subscribers are going up slowly but surely. I've got a viral video on TikTok. I'm starting uh, to grow on Instagram, so check me out on those two places. So that's good. But why can I shake the feeling that Ray William Johnson will just show up out of nowhere and say, and then? Must be my negativity showing. Well, here I am in the lower lot. Um... I suppose that I'm just supposed to go to one of the lines and wait. Okay, well, here is Texas Chainsaw Mex Massacre. I usually start with the maze that's next to Suit Super Nintendo World, but um, I think this time I will try to start with this one instead because it's the weekend again for the third year in a row, I think. Oh, dude. We haven't even started entering the uh, early entry people. Look how long the line is. Wow. Well, we'll see what happens. I mean, I got a lot of battery power in my phone. I got an extra battery pack up. I got my earphones for a podcast. But um, when it starts being two hours plus, okay, we'll see how I feel, okay? Uh, the line is starting to move. Exciting. I hate to be a Scrooge, but I have this nasty feeling that I will not get in a lot of mazes. Look how crowded it is and has even opened yet. Already made one mistake. I mean, early entry starts at 5.30, right? But some mazes start at 5.30 and others start at 5.45. So I just picked one that started at 5.45. Okay, just be aware of that. Yes! The line is moving! Exciting. Okay. I am about to go inside. Okay, so I'm about to go inside the maze. We're going to bust out the GoPro, see how it looks like, and I hope it looks nice. Chainsaw Massacre. The Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Oh. So, um, Texas Chainsaw Massacre, which is okay. Um, I had like one jump scare, but it's just nothing to write home about. So, I guess the first one is not DBG approved. Well, let's go for the weekend. Well, the line is not too, too long. I guess the weekend is a horror film fan. You can see that the crowds are starting to swarm in and it's not even 7 o'clock yet. <laughs> Sorry about that. She just stopped me. <laughs> they ran into me. Okay, um, I'm in front of the line, so I'm about to go in. This should be exciting. Okay, well, that was better than Texas Chainsaw Massacre, but still it was 
I don't know, maybe I'm getting desensitized. Okay, well, we'll see. So this one is called Dead Exposure Death Valley. That's a regular line, right? Okay, awesome, thank you. Look at this line. Okay, so, so far I've got two, I had two 15 minute waits, so getting a third one was maybe too much to ask. Oh wow, I've been lying 20 minutes and I'm already in front. Well, that's good news. Okay, here I go. Exciting. <laughs> had some good jump scares. Well, I actually thought it was kind of fun. Okay, so before I get on in another maze, I'm going to show you guys something which I think is really important. So right behind this Super Mario popcorn stand, the restrooms are over there. And there's a water fountain here where you can fill up your water bottle since they tell you to empty your water bottle when you come in. Dude, I really need this because standing in line with no water really kind of sucks. The water is warm. Okay, I see what you guys have done. Eternal Bloodlines featuring music from Slash. I don't know who that is. So behind Jurassic World, there's a sound stage and that's where the maze is. Well, that's fun. Four mazes in an hour. And then after that, it'll be like two hours of maze. What the hell is this? I've never been. Oh, wow. I've never been here. I'm approaching the door. And so far, only 15 minutes have gone by. Okay, let's see how this one is. Oh. wasn't too bad. I enjoyed that. Um, I guess out of the four of the lot, the best one would be uh, Weekend. Major time jump. Um, it's 8 o'clock now. I got myself one of these uh, refillable things which cost $19. I know, but I wanted a collectible cup. And um, so far everything is under an hour. The longest wait is uh, 40 minutes for Insidious which is the one I actually want to do, so we're going to go there now. What the hell is this? 180 minutes. So from the time that I walked from there to here, it went from 50 minutes to 180 minutes? Okay, then uh, Ghostbusters it is. Okay, here we go. I came inside. My phone was charging. That's how come I didn't have it ready when we went in. Frozen Empire was pretty good. Um, too bad I missed the beginning of it. I'm not going to wait in line just so I could show you the entrance. But um, Insidious has been reduced down to 70 minutes. Hmm. Do I want to do that? Yes, I do. Now, this is a serious line. Like, no joke. So, why do I want to see Insidious so much? I don't know, it's just... It's the maze that looks interesting, you know? It's monsters. I mean, the others had monsters. Okay, whatever. I'll wait it just for you guys. It's nice that they have a little store right here in the line. So, 
you could buy something while you're wasting your life. <laughs> Okay, so 70 minutes have passed and I'm still in line, so I'm sorely disappointed. Well, the house is right on the other side of this wall, so I guess at least I'm close. I can't believe it, I'm here. Wow. And whoa! Okay. <laughs> Oh, nice. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm not gonna like this part. Whoa! Oh! I'm. I actually don't regret waiting an hour and a half for this. That was really, really, really good. So, 100% um, BBD approved. So I've decided I am gonna go see the purse because the tram is a 65 minute wait and it calls at 11.15 anyway, so I probably wouldn't have made it. Here's the uh, stage, if you haven't seen it before, it's basically the Waterworld show with uh, purge overlay. Okay, well, that was actually a pretty good show. I had seen it before, but it's still very enjoyable. Anyways, I'm going to be heading home now. It's getting late, and I am tired. Oh, wait a second. Before I leave, let me show you the two mazes I ended up not going to. There's a Monstrous 2, Nightmares of Latin America. And this is a quiet place, based on the movie, I assume. Okay, then let's go back to our regularly scheduled goodbye. It was a busy day, Friday night, and I only had a regular ticket, but I still got the chance to do most of the houses. And so it was worth it getting early entry, even though it's not free anymore. So, and what else did I want to know? A lot of the rides are open, Harry Potter, Jurassic Park, uh, Mummy, Transformers. And um, yeah, thank you for spending the evening with me. I am the BBG. City walk at night. Beautiful.